She's gotta be quiet. Come on. Let me go to her. That's going to be uh, go. Okay. I think we should clap. Quiet on the set. Let's clap. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Two Edge Sword. I'm your host, Latanya Newsom. We have co hosts, Raven and Ashley. How you guys doing? I know that you're probably like, hey, it's a bit late. Beauty does take time. Is that right, ladies? No, yes, it is. We're doing it all for the men. No. <laughs> so tonight, um, our topic is going to be, what are you in the relationship for? Love, lust, are for lucrative benefits. So I came up, I came up with that topic, the network and I, and the ladies, because there's reasons that we feel, right, that people fall in love or get in a relationship. Because I don't want to say fall in love. Everyone gets into relationships for different reasons. Love, lust. I use the real nice word because I was going to say sex. Yeah, we know. Sex, you know, the thrill of it. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Or there's women and men that's actually into a relationship situation or get into a covenant just solely based on the financial gain of it all. So let's have this conversation, ladies, with the world. And let's just see, you know, where we all stand. Um, let me ask you guys, ladies, in, in you all's opinion, everyone out there, and ladies sitting here on the panel, do you guys believe that dating in the traditional way in the 21st century is like old fashioned, so to speak? What do you, what do you ladies think? For me, it's not, but I think for the world and the generation, how the generations are moving now, they seem to think that it's old school, like those traditions are, mm -hmm. well, I'll say the younger generation seems to think that those are old school traditions that or when they're catering or providing and protecting as they should as men. Somebody told me that's simp moves. I didn't even know what a simp was. Oh, simp. <laughs> I didn't even know what a simp was. A simp or a sap? Simp. <laughs> simp. I think they both probably the same kind of like the same. They are almost know. the same. Oh, okay. I don't, know what a but I, I don't, inquire, I, I don't encounter simps or saps. That oh, one. that's the scrub thing. When the S's y'all know. We can not. So, okay. So, was that a gentleman that said that's a simp is what what kind of move is that? When you just basically, what what was he saying? Like He did. It was a gentleman. And he said that the younger generation seemed to think okay, get that. It. Doing those things makes them a simp, whatever that is, oh. or whack, or whatever the case may be. <laughs> because they're actually not is it is, because they're actually not wanting to engage in having that traditional household, the traditional marriage, the traditional way of living with the, you know two parent household, or is it you know is it because honestly I don't know what it is. I thinking? don't know no. what it is. What's your opinion, Ashley? You want me? Because well, you are like Gen X. I was about to say, you're yeah, just 30. Right. But me, I do do the traditional old school way. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the people that are my age, they don't. They just like to casually date our situations. But me, I want the two parent home, the money, the, the, te right. the protectiveness, mm -hmm. all of that. So I'm still, I like the old school way. I'll stick with that. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm a, I'm a 70s baby, of course. Like, I want, 
I want the husband. I hit end with her. I want the husband. I want the children. I want you to bring the grandbabies over. And they know grandpa, not, oh, good one. Remember how everybody had all those uncles? uncles? <laughs> <laughs> everybody was an uncle. Yeah. Like, this is low key. Uncle, uncle spent a money. Every time we got, we got a new uncle. uncle. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I was just thought, like, I, I don't want to be like, hey, Here's Uncle such and such, and oh yeah, that, then the kids these days will bust you out. <laughs> but I mean, I'm I'm Jerry and right. Right. Yeah. How many uncles I got? Uh, Granny, G, Mama, Mama, Auntie. Who's here today? So we can probably, I guess, on the panel, as ladies agree, because they say ladies don't agree too much. But it looks like we agree traditionally. Um, yes. I mean, we like the traditional yes. way, but yes, I agree with you, ladies, uh, Ash and Raven, that. Saying, I feel like the 21st century, they do, and they have gotten away from the traditional aspect of dating. Mm -hmm. What we have to get to the thick of it is, what was it that actually made that movement happen? Of course, we're going to have the women say, you know, well, the men are not providing, the men are, you know, they're not moving how they did when my mom was growing up or my grandmother was growing up. They're not working, they this and that. And then the men could say, hey, you hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they could say that. And I'm sure the audience can agree we are. Like, they could say that. So, we could, we could agree to disagree. I would say, ultimately, regardless of which side of this room, we're on the women's side, of course, with women. The males have their opinion. What we need to do is see how can we get back to that traditional way of upbringing. Because... For, what I'm thinking is, it's important to me, traditionally, because and these are our values. These are the values that we had. These are the values we instilled in our children. It's long term for me. But that's the key word, values that we instilled in yeah. our children. Mm -hmm. When you don't have those values instilled in you, you don't know no better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know better, you can't do better. Mm -hmm. But I mean, black black people of, do learn. For me. Yeah. The lack of that being provided in home makes the reflection outside. So that's why a lot of these men who have grown up with just mothers in the home, sadly, they don't know what it is to be a provider. They don't know what it is to, to how to do If you've never seen it, you don't know. For me. Um, and I, and you're not me. I would say, actually, I know you, you had a comment before we move on. What was your, what was you going to say? Pick it up. Oh, I was just saying. Yeah, uh, you agree with Raymond? I uh, agree with her, but I was about to say, but some, yeah, even though you was not brought up that way, some people do, it clicks naturally for them, even mm -hmm. though nobody taught them, but that, it, that is like a big part of it, that, them not being taught. But some people, it do just click yeah. for them where they can just pick it up and just be that provider. And when you find out that they didn't have that person, you'll look at them like, oh, right. now I really see yeah. like, what you're yeah. trying to do and what you're trying to bring to the table. Yeah, I agree. Because I would say there's a lot of things so to speak, that I I did get values, I did get, and it's still there, something that's not. But then at some point, I had to take responsibility and change the way I was right, thinking, right. living, walking, talking, etc. So that's part of life. We have to grow there in LA. We the things we do now and no now, we should not still be doing, Come and on. and knowing is you know that's things right. like that. But this generation, hey, everybody's like. Prince was in 1999. <laughs> Let's go crazy, right? Right. Okay, so we get that. All right, well, that's that's good. Okay. So our second question is going to be, can you marry long term if it's based on lust? Do you think a, a, a marriage could be successful if it's based on sex? No. No. I think oh. No. I definitely no. don't think so because I guess what I got the wow. Yeah. After we've yeah. done every position <laughs> and everything you can do, like, okay, then what is it? Mm. It has to be some kind of substance, some kind of foundation. But the lust is I, is awesome. Yeah. The sex yeah. is amazing. That's why they got married. Like, man, this is the best eggplant <laughs> and, and <laughs> bitch I had in my life. Like some married. people do <laughs> get married for sex. Like I do know some of my friends that said that they have to have sex with the man first to see if they compatible enough to Not move on with them in a relationship. And I'm like, yes, sex is a big, important part of it, but you can always teach somebody what to do. Oh, boy, that's and my I daughter. agree with you. 
Totally agree. I feel like you can wait till after because, yeah, after because the I mean, it's what you make it. And if you, you have the, waiting. if you yeah. have the connection and the feelings, it makes it even better. Like I might have sex with you tonight and not even like you ask tomorrow. Yeah. Like for real. If everything else yeah. wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I definitely agree with both. That's but what I mean. say, <laughs> if we um if if you could have a successful long term marriage based on lust <sighs> I think it really boils down to the dynamics of that structure in that family. Now, anything we could base, we, let's say this, we could have marriage based on love, right? I, I, I love yeah. him, he loves me, or, you know, she loves her, he loves him, whatever. No, no judgment here. For me, it's going to be, I love him, he loves me, and the marriage don't work for other reasons. Right. Financially, something's off. You know what I mean? Financially, we're just not flowing. It ain't working. You know, I'm vibrating here with my my pockets. He's vibrating down here. He won't. He can't come up there. Or vice versa. He's vibrating up here financially, and I'm down here. What well, have you? Whatever. Which whichever way it goes, it could be uh, just in just um, irreconcilable differences. But we love one another. So I think with lust. The same thing. Let's say I get married. Sex is amazing. It's based on just pure lust. Can we grow to love each other? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know why I say that? We have a rank in other countries. Arranged marriages is that's yeah, how they definitely. operate. Right. And they start walking down the aisle. It's like you know coming to America. He like yeah. Let me go somewhere else to get a wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? And find some but. Again, I feel like it's the dynamics of that personal situation. At least the sex will be off the chain. You know, the sex is good. Now we got to make sure, but we, we ain't no money going, listen, we're going to have to get the money together before we even start thinking about sex. Do I believe that? Yeah, because we need to be compatible that yes sex that is that is a thing i've heard yeah like i if you would know the sex then yeah girl then you is not the one for me i don't want to wait three four months down the line and then i get it and i literally do be like and it's whack <laughs> i agree i don't want to wait three my months you know when it happens it happens because we all adults here right. like you said you can sleep with someone tonight today tonight and not speak to him again because and there's other like qualities itself. Right. Right. So we just gotta be, you know, just selective and compatibility. But I, I think yes, my and my answer is gonna be I feel like a, a lustful marriage could last long term. Long term could be five years. Right. That's their long term right. strategy. Long term for that relationship could be three years. It could be ten. Two, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like somebody getting married and the sex is not quite what it needs to be but that's those are things that's teachable and as we go and we understand and flow with one another there's just the negatives need to reverse the positives and we can see and you guys disagree right i, I, I mean i, I disagree <laughs> but i don't disagree because we both like we know that it could be taught or it could be something that just comes about because you can eventually fall in love. A lot of people, baby daddies, you have sex with them, you get a baby and eventually sometimes you fall in love with them, you know. It doesn't like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's up there. It's up there. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yes. And you, right? you like, you like, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> Ray has left the building. Like, <laughs> lust. like for me, lust is lust. Like it is what it is. It's a here and now type of thing. Like we can't it grow. Can we grow into something? In either one of either one of them, you can grow into something. It could be a lucrative thing that turns into something that I love. So mm -mm. you it yes oh, you can. Love. But the question that you asked was you lust money? long term. Long, <laughs> lust and long term don't sound like <laughs> right. that gonna last. And that sound like a booty call. Right. That sound like we do what we do. Sex. And like, that's it. I mean, you women, but, women, women, I mean, women, it can be that good too. It's like, but then it's just like, who says they have other qualities? But maybe they say, you know what? He got all of these other things going on. Or she has all these other things going on. But, you know, but 
the sex is what hook. First of all, if we're dealing with men, it's the sex is going to be from the beginning. <laughs> Let's be clear <laughs> about that. Okay. I, Jimmy I'm saying, man. he's like, right, we're not men. <laughs> we know what they want. That's he was like, good, uh, good, good, good for me. I.e. message, gentlemen, when we swipe right, he said, you think I'm swiping right? Because I'm like, hey, she look like she got good conversation. She read books. He said, no, I'm swiping right because I'm looking and I'm saying, she's fuckable. Right. Definitely. He said, then after we get past that, he like, oh, but she's intelligent. And, oh, she's got all these other attributes. Right. And then the, the sex for the men goes down from like 190% down to, and then it's like, oh, this is the person for me. Now, so it makes more, uh, it makes sense to do that with this camera. Mm -hmm. So, me, it's, you know, I, but that, the lucrative thing is another one. Question three, is marriage for lucrative reasons more like a business decision? Why, what would you, Ashley? Uh, yes, yeah, some people do make their relationships out to be business and lustful. I've witnessed a lot of those where it just be like, okay, yeah, I got this person. Even if they don't got this person, they literally paying for them to be with them for that moment or that second or just to go out with them so they can show them off to mm -hmm. whoever it is and then grab attention of other people. Mm -hmm. So that, it, it, it's a little confusing, but until you see it in, in person, then you'll understand it. Oh, oh definitely. I, I understand it. Well. I've been there. <laughs> been well. Please, just so, explain. But, uh, I would say that some people do think it's a business. I had a gentleman that told me that his first marriage, he married for love. His second marriage was business. Yeah. It was business. So, it yes, I do. <laughs> think for you me, can. Um, I definitely say, I run my life based on, based on, um, Structuring it like a Fortune 500 company. Will I marry solely based on financial gain? Absolutely not. And the reason I say that is for the same reason you women can agree y'all wouldn't marry just for sex. I'm more likely to marry because the dingling's good before I marry because the money's good. We're gonna make the money. But if I got lay next to you and I and I'm like, baby, am I backed up against you? Cause I'm no, we got we're gonna have some problems, but yes, marrying now. I think there's women, ain't no, there's not think had a conversation with uh, a gentleman that's gonna be on the show in their future that his wife basically married him for financial gain, and when he stopped providing, it got very domestic. She got, and I, yeah. she got very valid. I'm gonna good. let him tell his story, yeah. very valid, mm -hmm. and. It was solely because it wasn't he didn't have it or whatever. It was just like he was telling her no. She's right. on dinner. No. Take no. And an um, amazing gentleman. Like, in the, the good thing about it is he's still open to, to falling in love and, oh, have, and being married again. That's what, married. that's the, the scary part for me is when men, for these reasons, lust and, and just lucrative benefit. When you get a man, no matter his nationality, when a man gets to the point where he's like, this is going to be my wife, that's serious for a man to be able to put that hat on the shelf and do. So they're very fragile when it comes to love. And when they're hurt and they're damaged, good luck with that. Right. And then it'll be the women like, i.e. me, you, you, they got to deal with it. It's like, why is he giving me so much flack? Because they've been hurt. So... Marrying for money does not, it's going to be solely just financial gain. It's going to, it's definitely a business arrangement, but just in the wrong setting. We can handle business and be business partners and be lucrative without having a covenant. You know what I mean? But when you do, but when we do, like I said, I believe in running it in a structured manner. Right. Meet my children and, and my late husband are, we know everybody had a place so to speak in the company everybody had even now everybody has a role i'm the ceo as you see oh we got the little people where we got everybody we got everybody has a position but you have to structure your life like that look at it like a business i feel like it, in any aspect of it but no I would not, I'm going to run my house like a business in my marriage. We, we run it together, but I definitely would not 
marry just based on money. I'm a doggy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doggy. All of it. There's no love, right? I need everything. I need every all of it. The love, the lust, the money, all of the lucrative benefits. I need all of that in one. Mm -hmm. That not just one. One that, is gonna work. That's why what that's the marriage but is. Exactly. People do literally marry just for the materialistic part. They do. Or be in a relationship just for the materialistic they part. They do. They literally will be like, oh, he's a fit for me because of what he can get for me or what he can buy for me or what he can make me look like or what car he can put me in. And they argue and fight and it's always anger towards each other. But all you got to do is buy each other something or go out or something and then y'all okay because that's what y'all relationship's based mm -hmm. on. It's based on all material things instead of actually trying to give each other the material things and then love each other and build at the same time. Yeah. You know, it's important. So what questions, we got that in, when did we close? What questions do you ladies have? Let's go first. Well, my question is, um, which one are you ladies in it for? Love, lust, or the lucrative benefits? Mm. What about you? Um, I would definitely say love, because it's nothing like knowing that somebody can be there for you and protect you and hold you at night especially like when you get older and you can't be up under your parents as much that other person that you could just lay your head on at night and just let cry laugh whatever like that's important to a companion is very important before lust and lucrative very very important i agree mm. i would say the same love for me as well I feel like if you have love, everything else is going to come. You know, the money, the, the benefits, the lust, everything else is going to come if you have that foundation, that strong foundation of love. So, definitely love we, for me. We asking out the sex needs to be good? Did I, I said that's <laughs> part of the lust? I said, no, yeah. I said just the love for you. With like I said, but if you, love, the, if, you love, if you come. truly love somebody, you the know. sex is going to be good because the connection is there. You, the feelings are there. So, everything else is going to come. If I love you enough to lay next to you and I want you to hold me, by that good. time the sex is good. It's good. <laughs> by that time, make it good. By the time so. we lust it all over the house and we throwing <laughs> lucratives all over the house. Right. It's so good. by this time, it, it's just the overall thing literally before sex and lucrative would be lust and lucrative would be love. Because at the end of the day, what, what about what I can't do it no more? I need somebody that's still going to love me. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, that's never going to be able to... No, yeah, love for me. <laughs> All the way. What's your thoughts? I mean, absolutely, it's going to be love. I'm married for love. I knew when I, when I did get married, it was going to be like, hey, it, this is how I base my husband. Okay? This is how I'm looking for the next husband. I used to do this weird thing. Me and Dirk would be in the car, right? We would be going somewhere, whatever we need to do, out of event, business, whatever. And if he had to leave out, like we had needed a gas or something, I would watch him walk into the gas station and come out. And I would look, I would put myself out of being a wife, right? Like, I'm just like this, this single chick <laughs> in my car. I'm watching people come and go. And I see this tall, handsome ass man. But if I was still attracted to him in that mindset, I knew that's what I would do. I'd be like, oh my God, he's fine as hell. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I love him. Like, that's how I would do I need to know that I can wake up and go to sleep next to you every day, going to sleep knowing I love you, no matter what we encounter through the day, waking up, I said I love you, no matter what our night was like. And that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If, it's, if every time you do something or some little thing you do, I'm like, eggs me, we ain't going to make it. We ain't going to make it. I mean, that's, that's just what it is. We're absolutely not going to make it. Cause I'm not. I'm gonna lose that. But love. I'm gonna love. Love is amazing. Love. Yes, yeah, so we gonna love conquers <laughs> all. Definitely. You know, the love supersedes everything. When everything else fails, because somebody love you, they are gonna get up in the middle of the night. Cause your right. planets are you stranded. Cause they love you, they gonna be at the hospital by your exactly. side. Because they love you when you lose your parents and etc. Family members, they there to be support supportive. You know, because they love you, they they encouraging you for your goals, your dreams, your ambition. All of these things are because they care and love you. I agree. 
you know, sex ain't going to get us there. Sex is a good part. Don't get me wrong. That's going to connect us even more. You know, we're going, we, we going higher on that, when that right. sex is right. It's going higher. So I definitely love. I think all of us agree love. We, don't, we all in it for love, right? Love wins. <laughs> love wins. Yes. Okay. Oh. Crystal Graham said, in a relationship, it's supposed to be 100% from both partners, not just half and half, if it wants to work that way. How do y'all feel about that? So she said it's supposed to be as a whole mm -hmm. and not half and half? Yeah, not just bring half if it wants to work that way. Mm -hmm. So we're both parties is bringing 50-50 to the table is what right, she said. But she's saying as a whole 100 together instead of half, 50-50. It's supposed to be complete 100% uh, together. So each person is bringing 100%. Right, which is in, well, in all honesty and reality, it's not going to happen. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people will put their best foot forward, but everybody don't have the same mentality and the same financial gains either. So, they can only probably put in 40, 50%, mm -hmm. and you put in 67%. Mm -hmm. So, yes, they will work together as a whole on 100%, but in reality, the way people actually live and their financial gains and stuff... It's 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 all about how they put it together. And the house. That's good. That's good. Right then? I would agree. I agree with that. Yeah, but uh you know, it's and it also depends on what which uh what does what does a hundred percent look like to you? Right. It a hundred percent looks different may look different to you than mm -hmm. it looks to me. So Financial may be 100% to somebody else where it may be, you know, he helps me do or help around the house right. or right. cook and clean. Like 100% right. is different for, it, it's different for different people. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I guess it's just based on you and what you're looking for and what's 100% to you? What are you right. bringing to, to the table? Which, what is your 100% and what are you looking for back as, your, right. as that right. extra 100%? Right. I can agree. I can agree on... The panel, and I can agree on what Crystal's saying, what she's into. So I would say, again, the 100%, like you both were saying earlier, 100% for, let's say we're using ourselves as a scenario. First of all, let's, let's do this. I'm going to, if I love you, and I know this is who I'm going to have a higher level of commitment with, his 100% may really just be 60. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then, because remind you, we can't go to 200%. If we both bring 100% to the table, we're down at 200%. Right. That's why I always be 50-50. Everything is 100, remember? So anything over 100 is extra. And the extra will keep the marriage going. Mm -hmm. But we're at 100%. So let's say, uh, Crystal, your man's, portion of the 100% is actually 60. So that means you only have to bring 40% to the table. Now you collectively have 100. His 60% is, I love my woman, showing I'm loyal to her, my, the, uh, my finances are amazing, I'm going to take care of her. 40%, all you have to do is make sure you're cooking, cleaning, rubbing, Licking, sucking, all of the above. Let's not play no games. Right. So booty out. No, I'm not gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> we is not even gonna start that right now. That is a, a that's, 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 that's what they want. They, 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 are, are, they want to be the provider. They right. want to be that protector. They they want to be able to be to be keep a, have a kept woman. Right. So you say. You know what I'm saying? But they don't feel like. That's what a woman's job is. If your woman's job is to look cute on my right. arm, and, right. and when I come home, the food is good, then just just right. just be the be, be the lady, be the lady. Just be the lady. So you do have those, so that, and that would be say Crystal's position. That would be her hundred percent, right? right. Yes. So baby, whatever works for you, boo boo, and your Creo, that's what works for you. Right. Like I'm, a, I'm telling you, I'm not, no and judgment. I'm never, and I'm a. I'm a very uh, productive woman 
and and I and I don't like to use the term independent, so to speak, because it's been it's been tarnished so bad when it comes to not only women but black women and their independence. I don't want to use the word independent, self sufficient. I'm very oh, very self sufficient. Yeah. But however, let a let a king walk up here, let the emperor walk up in here and say, baby, this is no more. This is these are the things I need you to do. I'm going to. Address the court. Here ye, hear ye. I will sweat you and say, "Okay, Emperor, I get it, but I at least have to have businesses going on." I will Because exactly. remember, I have a legacy still to build, so I have I have that legacy to live leave to my children and my grandchildren. So that I would I would give the rings. I definitely I'm waiting to give the rings back up. Waiting. I haven't paid mortgage in like three years. So when I was paying mortgage again, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so the third come out, right? But no, for real. Whatever your hundred percent, Chris is to contribute in your household. But let's be clear. Whatever your man says he needs you to do, if it's less than a hundred, by all means, bring it down. Bring it down. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they need. And what they need is the opposite of what we've been trained that they need. They don't need you to be paying bills, a real man. Right. He does not need you to be rebuttaling against him. Mm -hmm. He does not need you to say, you know what? I don't need you to pump the gas. I got the gas. I don't need you to wash the car. We know we're strong. We can right. do all that. And I, I kind of, like I said, they want to they wanna feel needed and wanted. They want to puff their chest out the birds. That's mm -hmm. birds that their mating call is when they puff their chest out and they flutter and their wings. Like, we need to give our men that with yes. that, just that. But yes, yeah, 100% is it. We're gonna, it'll be interesting to know what the 100% is. Like, yes. Next question, please. Um, Dallas Cross said, love is important, yet communication is extremely because your relationship will fall apart if you're not making this a priority. I feel that your relationship will fail. That is definitely true. Without communication, you have no relationship. Right. <laughs> if you can't communicate, there is nothing. You have to be able to be able to come together to be able to build on something to have a relationship. So I would definitely agree, Dallas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I agree. She took the words right out of my mouth. So I can't. <laughs> It's just what it is. If you don't open your mouth, ask questions, and and talk, you don't get answers. You're not gonna get where you need to be. And yes, it, you open your mouth. Like right. just so open I your mean. mouth right. and say what's wrong with you when it comes to being in a relationship, because that will save a lot of grace when you are going through your downs, even your ups. But just keep it there. Just keep the communication open. Keep it. To where y'all can understand each other and y'all own on one accord and on one page. Yeah, I agree. The I think where we get caught up with being with someone that's not communicative is again from last week. We have to. I challenge everyone to read the book for the four love languages. Right, know what your love language is because there are men mm -hmm. that do their love language is communication. Yeah. Like obviously. Uh, Mr. Cross, Dallas is probably, that's clearly either he's learned communication or that is his love, love language, language and he was already equipped with it. You know what I mean? So make sure that your next spouse, your partner, that he or she, their love language comes with communication. You know, because you don't just have one love language out of four. Right. I be mean, my goal was to knock out all four of them. Definitely. I need to, because I don't know. Or four. Yeah, right, like it's to knock out all four of them. Communication is very imperative for a new more reasons. You don't go to work and not communicate your mm -hmm. job description. Remember, our, our our covenant is a business. We're running this like a six. I say Fortune 500 company because Fortune 500 companies are successful. Yes. Successful. Not just running any type of company. It has to be a successful company. We're not running any type of marriage. We're running a successful marriage. That's a huge difference. And being married and just being married and or in it just to be in it to say, oh, yeah, I did 26 years and you unhappy as hell. You got high pressure, <laughs> sugar, diabetes. You grand early. Right. She up her front and running around. Y'all sleep in two different rooms. Right. Right. No, successful marriage. We look good, smell good, and have amazing sex and make money together good. Right. That's a successful marriage. Okay. So communication definitely we know is has to be in the mix. 
I mean, even I'm a genius, or what Kevin Gates say, I talk to myself, myself. all the right. time. <laughs> so if you talking to yourself, you better be talking to your partner. <laughs> it's a problem all if not. Time. <laughs> all the time. Um, Dallas also said many go unappreciated and valued and respected. Okay. Say that one more time. Many go unappreciated and valued and respected. Okay, many go unappreciated. Is this males? Because you're male, Dallas. So let's so think of this some men. And are you I speaking on a male? Well, I think he's speaking in general. Are we, we I Dallas? think that's just a part of life. Yes, yeah. there, yeah, yes, there are people that are undervalued and disrespected, and that's just you just have to pick your poison. You have yeah. to know who you're choosing. You can't Questions? continue to choose. Right. Yeah. I mean, those that uh, you feel will. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's an energy. Like, you have to pick your poison. Like, pick your poison. I think it's there. like, if there is <laughs> many, oh, right, many go, many go unappreciated because they the people that's doing the depreciation have a problem within themselves. Right. You can't appreciate. I I cannot appreciate you if I don't appreciate Tiny. Right. I cannot appreciate Ashley if I don't appreciate Tiny. Like these yeah. are things that what we have to learn to do is separate ourselves from people's self damage and hurt right. and their self sabotaging ways. Mm -hmm. You don't treat me right. That's a you thing, baby. You don't want all of this right here, and I'm handling my business. That's a you thing. Right. You're not somebody even wanting my space anyway. When people don't appreciate you, right? Yeah. Off with the head of that snake. We got IG questions. Yeah, these are more like opinions. Opinions. Like, okay, you can um, read them. An international beauty said, "Sex ain't promised to be good because you're in love." And then she also said, "Money is not promised if you love someone." I agree with them both. Absolutely. I would yeah. definitely agree with them both. Sex is not promised to be good, but if you love them, you can look beyond yeah. the sex. sex. You look beyond the sex if you love them, as well as beyond yeah, the money. Like, if like, you, you love somebody, you can you can look beyond you how much money they have. We can build this legacy together. We can get money together. To. The, right. sex, the sex is going to be good if I love you, and we're going to make the yeah. sex good. Right. So I would definitely agree to those both of those opinions. Yeah. I mean, we got. I mean, yeah, the sex is definitely a, a, a thing. But let's be clear. Again, we we have to we have to realize we're we're more emotional. So we're gonna be thinking about, you know, I can love. We will settle. We will settle on the aspect. We will settle on all of these aspects. Well, he ain't really got six figures, but you know what? We can build this together. Right. We just all at this panel just sat that. Well, the sex ain't really popping. You know, it's not a water sign. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but you know we can work on that too. You know we can work. We can figure this out. But I love this man. You know, he, he's, he's a good provider, etc. So that's where the love comes in at. Um, again, you guys, all of this is going to be based on, we all have our own individual uh, brains, left side, right side. So in, in individual persons as well. So what? that's why we have these discussions. There's people out there that is going to marry for love. Yes. There's a ton of people out there that's going to marry for lust. There's tons of people out there that's going to marry because it's a lucrative benefit. We being real. We on the panel are going to marry for all three. That part. That part. Big part. <laughs> now, big facts. what order it comes, and I think Ashley has a question. Let me know if we have another one. Thank you, Deanna, um, International Beauty, for that on IG. Shouts out to yes, you. Sir. So, this would kind of be like a kill, have sex, or marry. So, it says, in marrying your partner, what order would you put? First, love, lust, or lucrative. So, what order would you put that in? One, two, or three? Like, what's your order? Well, love is gonna come first. Then lust, then we can get it. In. Then we can get it. In. <laughs> right. We gonna make money anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, we so we gonna love each other. Then we gonna lust on each other. And right. then we gonna get this money. Right. Get to the bag. Get to the bag. We be getting to the money. No. What you think? <laughs> I would pretty much say the same thing too, but. I kind of would no. put no. lucrative in front of lust, honestly, because the love has to be there. The the um, lucrative has to be there enough for us to be able to build a bond with each other to be able to um, build our, our empire, our house, whatever we want to do. And then lust, 
yes, it's important, but I would say it would be the least important because at the end of the day, whether it's morning, noon, or night, whatever we doing is is gonna happen. So it yeah. just it just all kind of fall in together, whether you put it first, second, or third. But it's good, interesting, yeah, yeah. interesting yeah. dynamics because yeah. you have love, less lucrative. Right. You have love, lucrative, love. lust, and dang, I mean, I was like, <laughs> so go ahead and say lust. I'm not going to say, say lust. lust. <laughs> I mean, because you know, <laughs> sex, I would say the term sex. I wanted to be, you know, the OCD <laughs> me and just use all L's, sex. Would be, you know, so lust is just sex. I don't want to say it's just, you know, it's just sex. But I would definitely say for me, it would be, try to say love. I don't know. Let me think. Because if we, we're going to make the money. I think I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to you. Love, love, and lust. Because you can't really have sex if the money's not right. You're not thinking about sex. No, not at all. I mean, like, you just... Not I mean, I mean, I, I get it, but not for me. I'm not right. This is this is why we all have these different opinions on you know the things that we're doing. Like the, everybody has a so, different so take on everything. So me and Ashley agree, <laughs> and you do something different. <laughs> I didn't know. Anybody else? <laughs> and the sex is good, but he broke. How's it? That's what I'm saying. What? That, that, um, Can it not happen? International Beauty also said, at least keep it real. Real statistics say that most divorces happen because of financial reasons. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So, has was. That's why I said lucrative in front of lust because. I'm listen. We he and I. First of all, let let's let's be even realer. A man is not going to worry about sex when his money is not correct. You can give out a head in the world. We, we, you can back it up all you want to. His money's not right. He's not think that's not where he's at. A real man because he's a remember he's the provider. But we talk about the 21st century. In this century. I don't care what century I'm in. Mean, if I'm looking. I thought it was an old school tradition. <laughs> like, I thought it was. You got the back these days. Like, it's like, oh, well, I'm independent. And that's the problem right. these days. Because they, there's so many, in, that, so many independent women that the men are in their feminine. And the women are taking care of the men. Is, but, mm. but, I mean, okay. So, let's be clear. Because now we've got our questions out the way. And we still have. We still have like 10, 15 minutes, right? So let's let's touch on that. And we, of course, question, okay. Uh, Deshaun Baltimore said lucrative lust. Okay, this is his. Yeah, okay. yeah he said lucrative lust love, man's point of view, alpha, alpha make team Scorpio. Hey! We got the water signs in this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpio sap, no, Pisces, baby. <laughs> right. Listen, so he said love, lust. Did he say lust first? Because he's a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So he probably said lust first. What did he say? He said lucrative, lust, then love. Oh, that's a man. Absolutely. So, that's a thought that's how man. they like that. And that's right. how men think. Exactly. Yeah, he said from a man, right? right. From, from, from an alpha man. man. From an alpha man, from man. From alpha man from at that. that. Man at that. So you you gonna fall love. in love with me before. I'm just saying. Yeah. That right. part. So <laughs> Me, you're gonna be like, oh, I know Especially if we had lust. Right. Anywhere in the mix. <laughs> no. Right. That was good. Okay. 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 Dally Cross. No. Dallas Cross said, How do you handle a man that is more deserving in every aspect and meet all of those criteria? Yet he's broke. He's broken. Would you give up on him? Would we do Definitely what? Definitely not. So would you give up on him. Oh. If he had yeah, all no. of those aspects but he was broken. No, we're gonna we're gonna work on him healing. So we're gonna figure out the root cause of his brokenness so that we can heal him. And then we're gonna build uh, continue to build yes. up all three of those, four of those together. But we definitely healing. We definitely <laughs> Yeah, I mean I mean give that movie we uh what's that two can play that game? Mm -hmm. You see how he was But they were <laughs> 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 I'm not sorry, I'm not funny. 
<laughs> Y'all see he was he had all the aspects. All she did was take him, get a haircut, help him get his teeth fixed and all that, and he had his confidence back. He was ready to go out there in the world. So a lot of times the man needs that woman to bring that out of him and sometimes the woman needs that man to bring it out of her. Sometimes just you showing that you can help them get to where they trying to be at in life will give them that motivation to get out there and do it because you're showing them that kindness of being around them that you can that you don't care what they have. A lot of people don't care what you have. A lot of people are not materialistic. So if they know that you carry all the aspects of what they want in a man or a woman, they may try to help fix you and and so and or so build you up. That's that's what I will get uh say about that. That's that's good. Both your points, ladies are these are great. I'm glad you asked that question, Dallas, because let's let's just I mean all jokes aside, let's talk about that for a second. Because again, we're talking about the sensitivity of a black man. Let's say men in general, but right now this is coming from I a black man. One thing about us is we should know one another. We should know our counterparts. Yes, we're all got the same blood running through our veins. We all have a heart. We all have two lungs. We all have one head, two, two hands, two feet, whatever. But when it comes down to the very DNA of it, I was created for you. Right. You know what I mean? I know. I should know. We all should, without a shadow of a doubt, what a black man needs and do not need. What has happened is society has structured us way before we was even old enough to have children right. or old enough to have relationships, etc. that we're going to revert this. And it was purposely done. So when we have a black man like that to say, you know what? I have all these great qualities. I'm taking care of my woman. I'm loving her. I'm letting her know that she's beautiful when she is. I'm the provider. She don't have to worry about coming home and there's no water when she go to cook over the stove. My sex is on point. I'm being attentive. I'm a great father. But because of my past, now the new woman's like, oh, he's, he's skittish. Remind you, I said this earlier. We bounce back time after time after time again from very bad traumatic situations. Some it take us longer, some it take less. But for women, that's that's our makeup. When it comes to a man, when a man gives you his love, his heart, right. you need to know how to handle it. When when a, when a doctor's doing a heart transplant, they don't go in, rip it up, cut up. They right. very careful. As the word, they cut the arteries, what they use to cut it, you can't bleed out. When they pick it up, they very careful, right? They very, very careful. They very mindful. And this heart is in nobody's body. Right. We have this black man with a heart inside his body. So any woman that doesn't understand the tenderness of a man, I'm going to need her to watch every show we have. Not <laughs> every show because this is going to be the type of man that a woman is going to have to she's going to have to caress and yes. heal and rebandage and go in and open up open him up do some work on his heart stitch him back up let's see if this is working oh he didn't have some complications I got to open him up again yeah. I got to figure it's out where the damage yeah. is close him up again like this is this is some serious when it comes to matters of the heart these are some serious things. Yeah. But these are the things that we've gotten away from in this century thinking that men don't need love. I don't want to, a woman sitting on this panel, we get a woman talking about there's no good men, there's no, I'm, we gonna I'm telling you, I love you in, in a nice life, <laughs> right. I'm going to eat your ass alive. I'm going to eat you alive. Because that's not true. Right. And then you got to take a look at yourself. If you're not getting a good man like this, these are clearly men. Right. Right. That's absolutely a good man that's saying, I know this is what I, I know what I've done. I know how I've done it. Right. But right now I'm hurt. Right. That's why I'm hurting. Would would a woman give me a chance? Because I'm hurt. I'm damaged. You know what I mean? Damaged goods. Right. Remember, I don't know, Ash, if you remember, I used to um when I, you know, I was nowhere near established like I was, I think it was in the projects, I probably was on food stamps and all kind of stuff, right? I'm figuring out my future. I used to go to this spot off of 7th Street at home in Louisville, Kentucky. 
that was called the bargain mart, right? They had food. It was groceries, right? The groceries was dead cheap. You know why? Because the canned good had failed and did it. This box of cereal got mushed a little bit. Right. You know what I mean? The label was, you know, kind of scratched off or something, you know, a little bit or whatever. Food perfectly fine, but the package it was wrapped right. in. Let's, let's be clear, right. y'all. The package it was wrapped in had been through some travel. You know what I mean? When I took that food home, it fed my children. It fed me. We didn't get sick. It wasn't outdated, tomate poison or nothing. The difference was I could stash a little extra. Right. I could buy more. Right. I could be grateful more. Right. So gratitude. This is what we're dealing with right here. Nothing's wrong with this man. He didn't just fail. He, come up, he didn't got a he didn't got a nick, you know, he didn't whatever his situation was, it just bent them out of shape a little bit. But he's clearly still willing. And that would be something maybe if he if he's even willing, that would be something Dallas you could tell us that you even still willing to see if love is there for you. But be, but be very careful because you're fragile and what type of woman that you get in the presence of. Make sure she understands the sensitivity yeah. of where you at in your life. But a great woman is going to have no problems with that. None. Yeah. Okay. International Beauty has a comment for Dallas with the broken. For Dallas. Okay, yeah. speak up. She said, how, is, how broken is he? It depends on the depths of his brokenness. He might, he might be so broke he tries to break you down as well. A man can have money. F you good. Love you. But bust your good head to the white meat. <laughs> this is the kind that you can't fix. He would need therapy, not a woman. Yes. Uh, speaking from experience, there are some men out there that are broken that you cannot fix. But they have to want to be fixed as well. So it doesn't matter if you this strong woman and you, oh, I can fix him. I can turn him around. I can make him do this. I can change him to be this person. You, he literally, in his mind, body, and soul, has to want to be go from broken to being fixed. And if you don't want to do that, then you can't force some. You can't keep forcing your energy and yourself on somebody who doesn't want to fix themselves. And yes, they do only think about sex, or they do get abusive. They do want to step out. They do because they not healing their own self. So sometimes you can try to just keep on, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. Let's go fill out this application, let's go do that. But if he, in his mind, is like, nope, I know you got this crib, I know we ain't getting put out, I know it's food coming in here every month, I know that the kids are still going to be straight whether I do it or not, then he's not going to fix himself. He's not going to want to fix himself. Some men literally get with women because they know for a fact that they're going to be stable no matter if they got a lot of money or a little money. Some people still have kids with people because if they're not third, that they're still, their child is still going to be taken care of. So, it does, it, yes, you can step out on that step and try to fix him. But if he's not putting that effort back into you to show you that he want to be fixed, then that's a lose-lose situation. I agree. And I think that... Dallas would have said, well, I feel like for this gentleman, Dallas is saying, I want to say a cry for help, but just for you to hear me. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's a difference. Uh, international beauty, we know it's a difference in a man that is broken, knows he's broken, and he's okay with being broken. Six questions. Okay. And then there's a difference in a man that's broken, but then he understands his brokenness. And is working on, because clearly, for him to even say, I'm, I'm broken, that's like going to AA and saying, yeah. you know, hi, my name is Tanya, I'm an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Right. That's a huge difference. So he's letting us know, I know I got, you know, I've been shattered and abused. Most, if we've if we been real, most of us most women, of us I, I, don't, I, don't, I got some brokenness. Still, you know, let's say yeah. I had a lot of brokenness. Once that's been addressed. Then you've healed yourself, worked on that shadow side, then yeah, you're ready to uh, to date, etc. But I think that is definitely a difference in the man as she was describing, and then the the man that we have uh, on the other end on Facebook. And Dallas, you can chime in and agree if you you know you want to, because that comment was from IG from International Beauty to you. So yeah, but I listen. I am all for 
Uh, she was being, being that woman that when that man needs whatever it is he needs, rather it's, you know, it could be simple as before he go to work, kissing him and saying, you know what, babe, here's, here's your lunch. I hope you have an amazing day. Let me tell you, the things that it takes to make a man feel good, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. The things it takes to keep his attention, is not easy. But when you get that man's heart, that is not easy to obtain, you need to appreciate that and still do it. Yes. And I, and we always, as women, are firmly in what you do to get me is what you do to keep me. Mm -hmm. and there's questions on the other one, too, over there. I know you guys saw I know we're having an amazing time with y'all. <laughs> we're probably not going to stick to the hour because I know y'all miss it. We will stick with it when we get on the network next year. Yes, we're working on the network, you guys. So everybody share. I had to put that out there. Share, share, share. Please share. And then those that do want to be guests, after we interview you, we make that arrangement and, and we'll go from uh, go from there. But yeah, definitely. I'm a healer. I'm a Pisces. This I'm is a healer. this I'm is what I do. We, right. we do like so yeah. this is the, the the basis, the foundation of why I have this show and why these women have been chosen to sit next to me is because we Think enough for like to know that as women, we have some work to do. Right. There's some women that's not going to like what I say or Raven says or Ashley says or maybe a guest a time or two. But it's for our better good. We have to bridge this gap. We have these men on here. This man's like, hey, like I'm broken. Right. We're we going to get Dallas a, a date. Dallas, right. she let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. He said, uh, Dallas said something else as well. He said, black men don't have the same support system as our black women. Oh. Somehow, some way, you guys will figure it out to build up one another. Unfortunately, a, a black brothers don't look look at things that way because people will view them as weak. We, yeah, and that is very yeah. true, Dallas, and it's sad. Yes, and it's very sad. But that's what we have to work on as a collective, as yes. black people. Period. Yeah. yeah. To mm -hmm. as men, we have to understand that it's not a, a sign of being weak because right. you cry, or it's not a sign of being weak because you're lifting your brother up. Like right. that's the problem with us today, and the male figures. Like it's no more of you feel it's weak because you you hug your brother. Right. But men need hugs too, right. just like women need hugs. Everybody's eight hugs a day make you live longer. It don't matter Absolutely. who you are. And eight kisses. hugs a day makes you live longer. Kiss. Kiss so men need hugs yeah. just like women need hugs. <laughs> men need that emotional uh, support just like women do. So it, I agree yes. with you, but it's very yeah. sad. Yes. Yeah, I agree as well. But it's kind of different with women because women always grew up being in a, a group with each other. They, they always... Grew up like, oh, you know, this is my sister, this is my cousin, this is my mama. And me and, yeah, this is my homie, but they never could go to their homie and be like, unless they're talking about a chick or chicks all the way around, but you never see them actually come together as black men, as brothers. as, as It's okay to have emotions just because you a man or you a boy. I tell my son all the time, it's okay to cry, but make sure it's something to cry for. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's a reason why you're crying. Don't just be crying just to be crying or being sad just to be sad. But it's okay to do that sometimes. And a lot of men, they get stuck in that. They After they become from little boys to teenagers to men, it's like they got to toughen up and suppress their feelings. And it's not healthy to suppress your feelings. No, it's not. Let that shit, that stuff out. Let it out. <laughs> like, let it go. Like, if you even got to cry to yourself, if you got to write it down, whatever. Like, I seen something on Facebook today. As a man, what's your favorite song that a woman sings that you would sing with your, your whole heart? Because you understand us as women. So, understand understand yourself as men and understand, your, understand yourself that the fact that you do have feelings. You was born with those feelings. That's not something that you can just stop. It doesn't right. matter if you're a woman or a man. Y'all have to get together like we do and have those outings and those those men dates and those pool hall dates and stuff and, and let that stuff out. Stop. Don't worry about it if a woman's going to hear you out or not. Sometimes it's okay to, man, it's, it's you my brother. I got to talk to you. This is something I got to say. If I cry, I need you not to judge me, whatever the case may be. But it's okay to have those feelings and let it out. I agree. I agree with, with both of those scenarios. I would come from a, a different point of view. We have to remember 
what are we here for? Right. So, and this is a thing too. We got to remember what type of men Definitely. we're talking about. There's different type of men, just like there's different type of women. Right. Your mind is going to dictate where you at in this universe, right? right? You're, you're thinking, you're every day, you use this all day, sleeping awoke every day. Your brain's going to dictate where you are. So the men that do not understand that they need this strong brotherhood are very immature men. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm being very, very transparent and upfront. Those are immature men. Only immature men will try to suppress the inside emotion and feelings that they have. This is like as she said, this is how we were created. Mm -hmm. So when you get with the right circle of men, the right circle of men are going to support you. I know this because I've experienced it. And and IE, me and Dallas actually know one another. Dallas knows your dad. Dallas right. knows my late husband. Dallas knows how supportive Derek was. Derek was that structure. Right. Even even his friends called uh, his in laws, etc. Derek would leave, baby. My homies in town. Yeah. I'm going, and I never as as the woman as the support system. I know my I knew my husband needed this male bonding time. I was never like, oh my God, you about to leave and then you leave it and it's 11 o'clock. What bitch you going to see her? Baby, God didn't be you. Right, right. You know what I mean? Let do be you. You may have something you want to discuss about something I did or say. Right. I don't know. But guess what? I'm here for one set of things. It, the bulk is us. Once a man is and in Dallas's case, I'm going to say just, I'm just I don't want to say speculate, but just from experience, I would say that the the person he had, the female figure he had, he was not able to show that emotional right. side. Because you going when your woman is nurturing every right. part of you, baby. Right. <laughs> we're not talking about not being able to show yes. that you hurt not right. baby. And and then the right woman should know. I know my man. Exactly. I she know my man. Say you can call me over the phone, baby, and I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Right. What's wrong? I you can hear it in my right. man's voice. <laughs> Again, when we get down to the DNA of it, we was created for one another. Yes. Every other race was created for them. Not to say nobody can. If you go on the other side of the lake, that's you. Just make sure you don't drown. Walking through the lake, that's fine. But if we're being realistic, that's why there's a male and female of this race, a male and female of that race, etc. Because we know each other's language, baby. Right. We know each other. Any woman talking about, I don't know, yeah, women are from Venus, men are from Mars, and that's going to be something <laughs> up and coming that we're going to do something exciting. Right. Yes, but these planets do meet at certain times of the years and months. They come face to face with each other. Right. Like this is this is how we move. So yeah, like to let's let's say the, your circle of the men that's around you needs to be more supportive, or you need to just change that circle. Period. Yeah. Level up that male circle, and then what women you put in your life, make sure that she's attentive to your emotions and your feelings. Make sure she caress your emotions and your feelings. Because if not, she yeah. ain't the woman you need to have in your home. At she ain't the woman you need to be taking on dates and outings. Because one thing I am going to do is get with you women. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear about that. Because we running around here not handling our business. Right. We got a lot of damaged men out here. Just like we damaged women. But we're damaged because on our own. A lot of this is really on our own accord. Again, it's a man's world, but we mold it and shape it. Don't nothing move without us. So if we're walking around, prime example, changing and shifting, shifting where we at in our paradigms, like we need to we need to just we need to bring it back. When you're structured like us, self-sufficient, like for me, I'm gonna be like, here's a here's a, a simple thing. You gotta you gotta think like the brain thinks. So even when you go to court, let's do this. You go to court, are you even at church or whatever you any authority figure? When you go to when you go to the White House, feds and what you got all of these steps that go up, 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 right? When you go in front of a judge or something, the judge is sitting higher. When you at church, your lawyer, the, the pulpit's higher. This is mental. It it changes the way the brain it, it automatically dumbs you down not not dumb you down but it makes you feel inferior 
automatically because that's the way the brain operates. So study how your brain operates and you'll understand a lot of things, just like other things we need to put in, in place. So that's why women like tell men, just so you men know. They don't, they may not understand a lot and won't understand that, but that's why. So we got to think, it's a lot of things that take place into um, relationships and all of these things that are, let's just think, let's, let's, let's pull this back in and be here. I say that, say the reason you will always see us in dresses from here on out is because we got to shift. I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate dresses. <laughs> I hate dresses. But I'm not a man. We're not men. So when we come and present ourselves, we like, she's like, where does this come from? Yes. We're going to be wearing dresses. We do wear these things too. And I'm, I'm done. We wear dresses like more than me. I do. But I'm not like you. Every time. Every time is once a week. But uh, this is why I say that. Because men in their mind is thinking, just like, it's kind of like a rebuttal. It's kind of like an instant power struggle, so to say. That's why men are attracted to legs. Right. That's why they're attracted to heels. Right. They're attracted to dresses because it, it it shows feminineness. It's like right. I'm the woman. And then he automatically knows if that's the woman, what am I? Right. I'm the damn man. Right. And when we walking around and we, you know, yeah, I be I love my Adidas. Everybody know it. Like I throw it on, but right. if I have to go on a date, I will no longer wear pants. I don't care how, how sexy I look. <laughs> Unless we go in to do something where we tumbling and wrestling, yeah, or, I feel like I'm wearing pants. Be sexy in pants, like is you that you? Yeah, you I didn't say you can be sexy, but we're talking about we're talking about the way the mind thinks. We're talking about is a way to get the man to do what we just to say do what needs to be done. But again, we're stroking the male ego. Right. Women are not stroking the male ego. These are the things the man right. love. The man wants to see his woman in a dress. It's well, skirts. I don't agree. I feel like men are visual. Definitely. They are visual. They so they like what they want to see what looks good to them. I don't necessarily feel like it has to be a dress or a skirt. I could be in some shorts. I could be in some pants. I could be and still be sexy as hell. I don't feel like I have to be in a dress in order for me to be sexy. Men are visual, I agree. And they want to see what looks good, I agree. But I don't think that we should I that it just has to be a dress. I could be on a Pants and look just as cute, just as sexy. And then, and men, y'all can y'all can chime in. So what I said was, I did not say that we didn't look sexy. I said I look amazing in men's. I'm a pants wear. What I'm saying is, remind you, I went, I went through that whole scenario so that I study how the brain thinks. So remind you, our goal is what to stroke the male ego. It ain't what we want. I just said we don't look hot. I look hot in pants. You look hot in pants. We always in pants. A lot of the time. I'd like to know what the... the but the, but the, the men, you are. know, like the men, like, then we just had that conversation again last week. Well, too. We want to say that I was, when I was getting dressed, I was like, this ain't me. I don't wear dresses. Like, I never was a skirt person or nothing. The only time I wore dresses was Easter Sunday and, and a good day at church. Like, literally. And... Like, I was like, but you got to put it on right now because it's the image that you're getting off. Not necessarily saying, like, somebody's going to say, oh, she looks sexy in a dress I want to date her. Like, but just the fact that we own her, we talking, like, it, it, and, and me, like, I, I probably have on, like, a pantsuit or something, you know, like, something like that. But I think what Mama was getting at, Miss Moore was getting at was that the fact that we... It's time to change our image, and, and so they can look at us at a different perspective, so we can grab their attention. Like not necessarily just wear dresses and skirts and stuff like that, but just change like our appearance just a little tad bit to to grab the the men in the audience and in the woman as well. But you know, we we going towards the the men, so. Lean, kind of lean back example. So we have a panel. But we not when we have that panel, let me know. <laughs> we have a panel of men and we have a panel of women. The men are going to there's 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 gonna be a chemical one that's automatically gonna be released. So remind you, we're we're check, this is a paradigm shift. Anytime we shift a paradigm, it's uncomfortable. It's even uncomfortable for me. 
And it was times that I remember Derek used to be like, baby, you ain't wearing a dress? And I used to be like, forget about it. You know, like, and not no, it's like, not yeah, yeah. I, either I would put it on and be on. Because I'd be like, yeah, I look good in dresses. Yeah, but I'm just more comfortable in pants. In pants, you pants. know what I mean? <laughs> but one thing that came, Spirit, when even when last week you were saying, like, hold on, I got this. I got this black man that's sitting on there, and I'm about to walk down here with a, you know, I might be in a cute blouse and pants and heels, but the man wears the pants. Let me, let me let in his mind understand that I respect the fact that I am in the presence of a man. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's really exactly what I'm saying. And that's why I was saying about when you go to court. Again, this is how important the, the play on the mind is. You go to court, the judge is not just sitting higher than you because his ass want to sit higher than you. Right. It's because it sets a tone and you automatically become inferior to the superior. That's why they're called superiors. Our men are our superiors. So we need to let them understand, I see your superiority. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm the woman. So we sitting pretty. They're going to know how to treat you. I'm going to, you know, no, baby, I'm not going to, I'm not the lioness today. I'm not going out catching the, the food because I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever. But it's it's a whole play on the vision. When we get it, we're going we're gonna to get down to it. But right. we're we, we going to be all right. Yes. Hey, Rhonda Williams says, dresses shows you off in a more feminine fashion. Oh, that's a man's point of view. Okay, it Thank does. Would you, What's her name? Rondo. <laughs> Thank you, Rondo. <laughs> so, you on board. Yeah, I'm right. Just right. Like, <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm just like, so, I'm just like, I mean, I agree. Yeah. I you. Like, no, no. So, Rondo, <laughs> let's answer Rondo. He's on IG. Um, Thank you for that comment. Would you prefer, so what is your difference? So, it does set us in a more feminine way, but so would you prefer to see your lady? And dresses a lot, pantsuits. I mean, she's sexy regardless. I'm sure she's completely hot. I know she's a hottie. What is your preference and why? I know you said dresses show more feminineness, but is there something else that we're missing that you can elaborate on for this situation? And it's something to let us know when he see it. He probably got to type. What's going on? But yeah, like, hey, this is what we doing, right? We here, we here for y'all. I'm gonna have to wear pants next week just so Rolando, what's his name, Rolando, so he can see the femininity, <laughs> the femininity in my pants suit. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna we have to do, cause uh, <laughs> we gonna wear pants on the outing. Look, I'm the hardest one. Like, well, no, we really talking about work. like the little casual. I could two, wear like, a nice two piece. Like, I, I could be so sexy as a pants. Don't get it. You know, know the ones with the bell bottoms yeah, or something like yeah, not necessarily nice. like blue jeans or something. I'm not talking about blue. It could be leather. I wear leather pants all the time. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying. So, remember the tradition. Now remind you, we're talking about the traditional way. Yeah. So we're talking about we're talking about getting back to basics. We're not talking about what everybody else did when you even look at the image of what how women dress even in the 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s we can go up even the 80s we just started getting real raunchy in the 2000s really when you see those women those women had the suitors that uh, that appealed to them they had they they neck collars on they had long sleeves and all they might have had their little little booty things on whatever the dresses with you could barely see they a damn toe like full girdles on and you would see men <laughs> even in pictures you would see men like that's who guess what they're thinking that's who i'm gonna take home to my mama that's who i'm gonna walk down the aisle that's who i'm gonna have babies with and y'all know i'm risky as hell and i go out of the club like and i had let me tell you, <laughs> risky as heck i've had men or times to say something about uh, those questions you can read too if you need to because I know I see a ton of them. Um, I've had I've had men that say, you know, we've had conversations like, you know, what so you know what I don't like that just when it's a it's woman different. and I felt like it was directed towards me. I ain't gonna lie, but he was like, you know, it kind of just just er, just like touches my insides. Is when I see a woman such as yourself they're so you know without these amazing qualities and then they dress the opposite like like pretty risque because y'all know we hang out together y'all right. and i'm just like 
I was like Scooby Doo, like her. <laughs> Cause you ain't seen my like her. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell y'all what I was thinking. Uh -huh. this, this brother been on my profile. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but I was right. like, is he talking about I just sit back. Meditating my water, taking a bath, and I sort of think it's so. I had this guy, and he had all these amazing qualities. He was loyal, or he wanted to be, or whatever. And I was contemplating, have go moving forward, sorting stuff with him. And bro, I had a fans only page where he was just working out, ugh, flexing, <laughs> and carrying on. How would I feel? Only difference in his fans only in mine is he's getting paid. Right. And my shit's on social media free. <laughs> I ain't giving up nothing, but I'm like, it's pretty I, risky. I, I you know what I mean? I have something to say about that. Like, a, a lot of men, they do be, uh, and women, do be attracted to you physically, what they can see. And sometimes they do be attracted to you when you're wearing different clothes. But when y'all actually begin to date or and or talk or whatever, like, they don't want to see all that. They a lot of the time they only want to see it when y'all get down in the bed, or it half the time when y'all going out because they don't want nobody else to see it. It's kind of like for some reason the perspective changes as soon as you see the the good the good qualities that that person carry. You want them to cover up or and or change the way that they do things because you don't want nobody else to see them and try to come towards them and take them away from you or. Try to get them to cheat on you or whatever, but that I and I I even watched a show where they he she was like, well this is how I was when you met me. He was like, yeah, but can you switch me. it up a little bit, like because I feel uncomfortable because you you know people are out like you are with somebody, but it's like you still single mm -hmm. the way that you move it. like you still have to move in a sense like you with somebody. I'm not saying like shut it all down. But change it up a little bit where I feel comfortable, where we both can enjoy what's going on. And a lot of people don't understand that. And it's not a good or a bad thing. It's really just how that person's mindset is and how their mindset is together. So if you know that you willing to make a little bit changes to make that person happy, then you'll be okay. But if y'all know that y'all can't come on one accord to change it up a little bit like maybe you weren't somewhere your boobs just sitting up real high or something like and they all in your face Ooh, like, both like you can still wear something to show your boobs or something you know both like say. he wants he, he wants to see it be sensual like, right he don't want it to be it's raunchy sexy, or yeah. ratchet yeah. he wants it to be like a sensual sexual cute ratchet raunchy thing like he wants get ratchet and raunchy in the yeah, house like he, he, he and wants now. the sexy first and then the, the raunchy later but he wants that raunchy behind closed doors right. so it's kind of hard for him to see what you're saying from a woman's perspective even if it's your job not your job or whatever like sometimes it's just hard to see it from the other person's perspective I that definitely agree we're, we're, we're going to talk Raven into a dress every weekend y'all right? <laughs> Good I mean, good luck. I, if I can do it, anybody and can. I wear dresses all the time. She wore my. That's why we not even getting ready. I wear ready. dresses more than both. Exactly. Of them. That's why we ain't listening to you. I was just about to say. I feel. I feel. I literally was about to say you wore dresses, skirts than all of us. She feel pressure. And if I can go and put on a dress, look, look. I feel pressure. She feel pressure. Yeah, you feel pressure. Listen, we're gonna wear it every week. I'm saying. 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 I'm she doesn't want to wear one. Call me. <laughs> call, call Tanya. I was Damn. like, I got three I wear dresses. dresses. I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> let us stay in her pants. Because I'm going to have to get up. I was like, I was like, I was like, I put my clothes on. I was like, one dress looked like I'm going to church. The other one looked like I'm going on a job interview. <laughs> and the other one looked like I'm a stay-at-home mom that just don't do nothing with herself. So what dress am I supposed to pick? <laughs> pick the dress that makes you look like... <laughs> Ooh, la, la. Yeah. Like, so I, I'm like, like you going I, I don't know. I had to help have my little sister help me today. I was like, which dress do I look good in? <laughs> she look good. I love them. That's gonna be different. You know, I, her, I even the hairstyle too. for me. I had you know your hair brings out how you look at different clothes. So I I would love I to have worn a green dress today. 
But I feel like I need longer hair with I'm that sorry. dress because it has ruffles and all that stuff on it. Like, it was good. The yeah. men could agree. Long as it's a dress, right? But this is a thing. I, I got um, what he said. Again, it's the mental perception of everything. We got to know this stuff is mental. You know what I mean? Mental. Um, I would be, even when we've hung out, I've watched how set back, you know, mine's always thinking, and I've watched how men look and or go after women that are dressed certain ways. The dresses do pull. I see the men look, we're walking a dress, our skirt, the men and the women look at it. It's something right. about them skirts and them dresses. And I think it's probably why I don't wear them. I don't know, but. I get used to it. We are going to see, because I will not be in a dress every week. <laughs> she, the days that she's not in a dress, quote me. She's quote gonna, me she, we're gonna have a guess. <laughs> Who, what? Uh, quote Ron, me he said he, he loves to see women in dresses and skirts, especially when taking them for dinner. He okay, yeah. yeah. He was playing in this skirt under the table. <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> Especially when taking the way to be like, why are y'all still here when they close? Like, he he Girl, <laughs> <laughs> right. you know, like, like Miss Newsom said earlier, why a lot of me 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 because I'm trying to call you. Mama. Mama. You know what I'm saying? Mama. 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 But a lot, like, a lot of men are literally attracted to legs and feet. So they really, the dresses and stuff, like, especially if you out here with some Angela Bassett legs and you tall, like, a lot, some, some men chance. just literally <laughs> like the way that a woman literally looks. Because they men. Yeah, like, but it just be, the they like the legs and stuff is what I'm saying. You don't, a lot of men who like women who dress in skirts and dresses, they don't care if they showing off all of this. They want to see how sexy they look. With just their legs and their arms and their face out. So I can, and, and then a lot of times when women dress up to go out on dates, yes, I will put on a cocktail dress or a dinner dress or an evening dress because it does bring out your features and it does bring out that elegance of a woman. So that's why I feel like a lot of men are seeing like, yes, instead of seeing her dressed up in booty shorts and a tank top, like t shirts and a sweat. Or blue jeans and the t-shirts. I want to see her dressed up in an elegant way, in a dressy way. So I think that's where a lot of men are getting at when they say that. Like they want to see something other than normal wait. wear. Like let's put it wait. like that, normal wear. <laughs> can't wait. This chick right here. Yeah, what was that? Fashion is my thing. So I can't wait to come in here, not in the skirt. <laughs> she will dress. not be on camera. <laughs> What was the question? <laughs> Jesse, she had a comment. She said modesty can still be alluring and feminine. Yes. It, it's yes. Yeah, and that's what we're missing. Yes. That's what that we're exactly missing. what we miss it. It's a, it's a method to the madness. And this is madness for my sis right now. But it's mad, it was madness for me. But what one thing I believe in is practicing what I'm preaching. I I can I can I own about this many dresses probably in the line like probably probably this many dresses because they probably did like you know what I mean whatever but I think I got three I'm working on that and also like she said modestly last week we looked nice the dress was nice but you know I got all this going on up here yeah you what are y'all name like side top well. Let's talk about the dress I had on last week. Mm -hmm. But it then it was, thank you. But it was, you know, it was out. The girls was kind of out. The Cleveland was out. Why are they going? <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then it's like, you know what? I remember this dress. Let me see how that worked. Completely covered, modest. And I'm actually even sexier. My wedding dresses are long. Was long. I don't mm -hmm. do short. This is short. This yeah. is majority of mine's, I me. swear, I've been like, on this like it's the whole time. Right. Like, but, you know, I feel like a natural woman. <laughs> you make me feel like a natural woman. Now, nah, from that was it, yeah. <laughs> um, Dallas said, girl, these men attract to nothing but big booty. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I think well, that's some worse men. Cause it ain't your fake no. no. <laughs> I would agree, Dallas, but My to an extent, they have now I've made little booties matter. 
Yeah. Yes, and she's showing. I can't wait. They have Dallas. 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 Yes, they just didn't know about it. But little boo, little boo is mad for we a long time. Matter. But yes, in today's age, a lot of men are attracted to the booties because of everything that's going on cosmetically. Like a same. lot of girls are literally making their booty bigger and bigger and bigger just so they can have an OnlyFans or twerk on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And it has been put in our face so much the man can't do that. Even before it was put in our face, men was attracted to the women's booty, the breasts, and all that. But now it's more she so women, yes. the women's butt all day, every day, because they can sit there and watch it jiggle all day long. <laughs> I just saw a video of a girl twerking with a, 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 a soccer ball on her booty. I was like, <laughs> okay. you know what I'm saying? We like, need to get her on the show. Nah, I'm just playing. She just playing. literally was in a, like, it was like 2,000 people out there. She was twerking, and the soccer ball didn't go nowhere. So they, they coming up with all these different ways to keep these women in the camera with their backs turned instead of their faces. And that's why a lot of women, like, me have a, a problem sometimes getting a man because they think I'm finna twerk for them. They think, of, but yeah, if we go, I can do that. But don't think that's the only quality that I'm gonna bring to you is my behind because I got two kitchen tables in my house. I'm trying to get a third one. So okay. show me what what, what else you're trying to do. What's the kitchen tables for? But I'm saying like, if you gonna come around me because of what I look like and what my assets is as far as my uh -huh. body, then how can I expect you to grow with me? And like like what I said, I have two kitchen tables in the house. I'm trying to get a big enough house to have three. Oh, okay. So if growth. you can't right growth, like so if you I'm can't what's the third table? Okay. <laughs> so no, if you can't bad. if you can't look past the fact that I have a big booty and my brain is bigger than my butt, then ain't nothing you can do for me. I, it's a, and my hands is washed with that. <clears throat> and let's let's um really see through the smoke and mirrors, all that. They can twerk with softballs, footballs, <laughs> basketballs, <laughs> right. the dudes' balls. It don't matter. <laughs> Whoever. At the end of the day, those men are not ready to wife nobody. They're not. They can keep watching. Those, those are the men. If you're impressed by that, you're not even the person for me. Right. Because the man that under, because remember you, there's men. Now we're making, again, we don't want to make it seem like all the men are, are just dumbfounded, literally, right. everything's about sex, blah, blah, blah. There are men that have their mental together, not just right. the physical, the spiritual. They have their men, they have their priorities together. Part of having your priorities together is knowing what type of woman you want. Most of these women have children, uh, men have children. They know what type of woman they want to bring around. They're going to look right. at you all day long, might throw a couple of dollars at your KLD and all of that. But guess who they not wifing? Right. The one that they throw on the Guess who they not wifing? <laughs> Clear as day. I put my own money on it. They They're not wiping. They dollars different ways. Right. They might not be throwing they, them like they that. They times out of 10. <laughs> so <laughs> we're talking yeah. about two different set of men. Yeah. And clearly two different. I don't even think that's a, a Dallas Cross man or a, 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 a Rolando Williams man. Right. Or a, 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 what was it? Um, shine the shine right. man. I don't think yeah. these are these are the men that's like you know what I just want to play, right. play, play. These are these are the these the, are men that don't the childish the they just and the women to still have they cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I definitely agree with that. A lot of a lot nowadays, what I see, nobody is in that traditional living way of wanting to go generally go out and meet somebody so they can have a life with everybody literally like at this point the whole world has slept with each other one time oh it's sad. because it's, 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 it's really just sad. it's literally going out like that and for women who's like us who want to go out and have fun i at this point i'm not gonna meet my husband in the club i'm literally gonna have to be at some real high-end function or something at this point for the person that I actually want to meet and be with to for him to be my husband. Because I feel like if I see you in the club every time I'm in the club, you ain't for me. It could be just looking. Like, and then, this is another thing. We kill time, we know, because we're guilty of it. I went out on a Sunday night, matter of fact. Y'all ditched me. Yes, I was out Sunday. Is that where you was at when I called you and the music was playing in the back? Girl, <laughs> put my business on the street. So, ah, we had just got off the road. I wasn't going. 
<laughs> and I was like, you know what? This is where that 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 significant other comes in and right. having that companionship. You know, it's filed, weekends come. Normally I would be doing something with my spouse, the kids, probably grandkids or Sunday or something, and I just I work. We got we might do our thing, hang out. We go out really when we hang out, we don't even go to the club club. We go to the lounges right. and the bars, cigar bars, whatever. That's where the men be. The men are mature most of the time. Like, I, I have my drink. I have what? <laughs> I have my food, you know. And then we listen to music a little bit, sip, and then go home. By that time, I'm now sleepy. So then I can sleep. You know what I mean? So the right. men go through that too. The men like, dang, I ain't really looking for nothing, but I'm just trying to kill time. Yeah. Like, if I had a man, I told him, the guy that's, so he's probably watching the show, was like, oh, I used to do a prince. I'm outside of the bar. I'm trying to upload for tonight. And he's talking, and he's like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I'm here. I'm out. And I'm just like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm killing time. He's like, me too. Right. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, single people just out here just right. having a cigar, having a drink. I get it. Yeah. You know, whatever. But I said, trust and believe. If I was not single, my ass would be out right. on a Sunday night too. But you got people that are out that are not single. Because the last time trade. I was in Chicago, <laughs> dude was like, hey, da la la. And I'm like, well, I got a man. And he was like, well, shit, I got a girl. I'm like, you be out with your girl? <laughs> Thank he you. Was like, he was like, it's 2021. Who is, is loyal? Oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I didn't know. Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't Man. know. I'm, I'm loyal with with that part. That part. So I didn't know. Man. A I lot of women and a lot of men are okay with open relationships. Even if it's not an open generation. relationship, they are okay with their men going out or their women going out cheating because they know that they're going to deal with it and they're going to come back. And I'd be like, how do you mentally let your man or mm -hmm. your woman go out, get on somebody <laughs> else, <laughs> let them do <laughs> them, and then, oh, well, he's going to come home or she's going to come home. And Girl. just push it in the back it's of your mind, like even if they, I didn't, you know me, yeah, even we got me being else. thirty, I hang out with people who are thirty right. and forty. These people are not young. These people are literally and they still in their middle thirties and early forties, and they are still out here like lying about having whole families since <laughs> high school. You know what I'm saying? Like got ten kids. You've been like, yeah, you've been in my house every day for the last year. How did you even get away with that? But then they'll call, oh, well, you know, I'm pregnant. Congratulations, my tubes is tied. <laughs> oh, well, you know he was, baby. I don't know. Like, though, why are you calling me? Why are you texting? I don't know anything about you, y'all. You know, if you know about me, I, I, that's okay. Yeah. But y'all literally okay with constantly calling the other woman or the other man, knowing that your spouse is the, the cause of the whole thing, and you literally... And your mind consciously think like, okay, well, he's a man or she's a woman. They're going to do what they want to do, how they want to do it. So I'm going to just let it ride and I'm going to try to keep doing this. And some women, they just, not, or men, they not there mentally to fight back and or just leave. So they just deal with it because they think they're not going to find somebody else. Mm -hmm. So they like, it no just, I'd be like, okay, like, honey. Maybe. How many kids you got? Yeah, How many wives, side, side, side chicks, and everything you got? What <laughs> topics y'all think should be next week? That would probably be a good yeah, topic. I'm just saying, yeah, hey, I don't know. I'm not sharing. Sharing is not caring when it comes to my man. Okay? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and to be honest, if you got enough energy after dealing with this water sign, then by all means. <laughs> <laughs> to you, because I'm gonna put you straight to sleep. I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't have those problems. She talking about he coming back home. She he ain't running to sunshine. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, never coming home. coming home. Okay, so interesting. Yeah, interesting. So. Yeah, we had a lot going on. The topics, open topic, topic discussion is amazing. We got that earlier. We definitely enjoy you ladies and men for coming through, taking the time out of your amazing busy days to sit here with us, dialogue, and just soak in some things about one another. Before it's all said and done, us women are going to learn our men, and the men are going to learn the women. 
So with that being said, we will close out tonight. Thank you all. You're amazing. Yes. Collectively, yes. black women and men, everyone are is amazing. amazing. Yes, we are. And we will see you next Tuesday. Yes.